Technology has made life convenient and in most cases even more secure. Technology such as a retina scanner, a device we often see depicted in movies being used as a high security access or denial tool. Or maybe a your optometrist, used for looking deep into your eyes. A device or tool depending on how you look at it. It is able to scan and capture biometric information from within our eyes. Information that can be used for medical purposes or in security applications. Even though they seem like science fiction, they are very real. On The Simple Answer today, we will let you know how it works, is it safe, is it secure, and what are the drawbacks. Let's break down what it is and how it works. What is a retina scanner? A retina scanner is a device that scans, maps, and captures the unique patterns of a person's retinal blood vessels, more specifically, the capillaries. But how does it work? The scanner accomplishes this by casting an unperceived beam of low energy infrared light into a person's eye as they peer through the eyepiece of the device. It then produces digital images of the complex structure and layout of the capillaries. Images which can then be studied to check for health abnormalities and saved for medical record comparisons. In the case of a security application, this works about the same, but the data collected is interpreted differently. By measuring the amount of light absorbed by the capillaries, the difference in how much light is reflected is measured and assigned numbers. From these numbers, a highly specific code map is created for each individual that is scanned. Authorized codes will allow access to whatever the scanner is locking. How safe are they to use? As with any technology that boasts safety and security, the thought of just how safe and secure they are is always something to consider. A common concern for many is, can a retina scan cause damage to the eye? Studies have shown that prolonged exposure to infrared radiation can cause damage to your eyes. However, in this application, most experts agree that it is safe because of the low power of the light and also the very limited exposure time required for a scan to be completed. On average, a scan itself should take about 30 seconds or less. The good news is that the technology is getting more advanced and not all retina scanners use infrared light. How secure are they? Because of the characteristics of the retina and how the device captures that information, makes it almost impossible to defeat or hack. Unlike other biometric signatures, genetic factors do not determine the exact patterns of blood vessels in the retina. Because of this, retina scan technology can even differentiate between identical twins. Based on research comparing retina scan to fingerprint, the results were in favor of retina scanning as more secure than fingerprint. As it is with most technology, the aim is to solve a problem or create convenience. But none is without its drawbacks. What are the drawbacks of retina scan technology? For the device to work effectively, it needs high quality images for a scan to be accurately processed. Because of this, a scan can be rejected leading to repeat scanning and a lengthy enrollment process. Most people find the process to be intrusive and uncomfortable and most are concerned about possible damage to their eyes, which makes people less comfortable about using them, which also leads to slow deployment of the devices in a security application on a commercial basis. Only places with the highest need for security typically uses them, like banks or federal buildings. Aside from that, they are more commonly used in the medical field. Overall, I think this technology is great and can provide another sophisticated layer of security where needed while being a useful tool in the medical field. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this technology. Aside from going to see your eye doctor, wouldn't it be cool to have one at your front door? Or maybe even to start your car? That's it for our video today. Until next time, thank you for watching. See you in two weeks.